Hey everyone and welcome to the Sana Commerce screencast. In this demo I will tell you about all kind of prices and price settings that can be configured for the products catalog in Microsoft Dynamics AX and Sana Admin and how they are presented in the web store. Just to have a clear understanding of what can be configured in AX and Sana, remember that all prices are set in Microsoft Dynamics AX and thus are coming from AX and are calculated by AX. Well, from Sana Admin, you can control prices presentation in the web store. Sana provides different pricing strategies like base sales price, trade agreements that can be used to set up customer specific prices for business customers, and volume prices. All this is supported by Sana. So, let's go one by one. At first, I will open any product in Microsoft Dynamics AX. Under the Sell Fast tab in the Base Sales Price section, you can enter Product Price. If there are no trade agreements, this will be the actual price of a product. In the Web Store, product prices are shown on the Product List and Product Details pages, and in the Search Results. Next, I will tell you about Sales Prices that can be set up using trade agreements. Sales Prices can be used for different price rules. It can be used for all customers to promote a product with lower price than the base sales price set on the released product details form, or it can be used to set up customer-specific prices for individual business customers. To set up sales prices, select a product and under the Sell tab click Create Trade Agreements. At first, you need to create a record in the journal and then click Lines. In the Relation field, Select Sales Price from the list. In the Account Code field, you can define for whom the sales price should be set. For an individual customer, then select Table. For a customer group, then select Group. Or for all customers. If you want to set up a sales price for an individual customer, then in the Account Selection drop-down, you need to select the customer's account for whom the sales price should be valid. In the Item Relation field, select the item number of the product for which the sales price should be set. If a product has variance, you can also select product dimensions. In the Unit field, select Unit of Measure. In the Amount in Currency field, enter the sales price for this product. Make sure that you entered the sales price lower than the base sales price on the release product details form, as it is the matter of promotion of the product with lower price. And select the correct currency in the currency field. When everything is ready, post the journal. You will have two prices for the product. The base sales price on the release product details form and a sales price added using trade agreements. And now let's open Sana Admin and click the tab Products Price. Here you can see different price settings. As I have told you before, from Sana Admin you can control presentation of prices in the web store. And the first option is Action Prices. If both prices, the base sales price on the release product details form and sales price using trade agreements are set for a product in AX, you can show both of them in the web store if you enable this Action Prices option in Sana Admin. In this case, in the web store, you will see two prices for a product. The base sales price set on the released product details form is of a grey color and marked strike through, and the sales price, which is of a red color. If both prices are set, the sales price added using trade agreements is the actual price of a product. If you disable the Action Prices option, in Sana Admin, only sales prices will be shown in the Web Store. And now let's talk about volume prices. Here in Sana Admin, you can also see the Volume Prices option, which is used either to show or hide volume prices in the Web Store. Well, what is it? Volume pricing is a pricing strategy that allows discounts for bulk purchases. Typically, the greater the number of items purchased, the greater discount. To set up volume prices in AX, you can also use trade agreements almost in the same way as I showed you before for setting up sales prices. Click Create Trade Agreements. Create a record in the journal and then click Lines. In the Relation field, 
you can use sales price or sales line discount. The difference between the sales price and sales line discount is that using sales price you can specify the exact sales price. While using the sales line discount you can specify the discount percentage. Then define for whom the sales price should be set – for an individual customer, for a customer group or for all customers. Select the item number of the product and dimensions if it is a product variant. For volume prices in the field from, you should also enter the minimum quantity of products that the customer should purchase in order to get the agreed discount. In the to field, you can also enter the maximum quantity of products. Select the unit of measure, currency and enter the sales price if you create trade agreement of the sales price type. Or enter a discount percentage if you create trade agreement of the sales line discount type. This way you can create as many lines specifying the minimum quantity of products that a customer should purchase in order to get the agreed discount as needed. All this information, unit of measure, minimum quantity and price will be shown in the web store. When everything is ready, post the journal. If everything is configured and the volume prices option is enabled in SANA Admin, then in the web store on the product details page of the related product you will see a link View Volume Discounts. If you click on this link, you will see a table with volume discounts coming from Microsoft Dynamics AX. You can see the minimum quantity of products that a customer should purchase in order to get the agreed discount. Unit of measure the customer can order in the sales price and a discount. Well, now you know about different price strategies and settings supported by SANA. Let's take a look at what price settings are left in SANA Admin. We have talked about action prices and volume prices. You can control price visibility in general. You can either show or hide prices per customer group, B2C customers, B2B customers and sales agents. And the last option is price visibility when ERP connection is not available. Using this option you can show or hide prices when the web store is in the so-called maintenance mode. When this mode is activated, this means that connection to ERP is not available. But customers can still place orders in the web store. If this option is enabled, the customers will be able to see the prices when the web store is in the maintenance mode, but they will be based on the latest imported list prices. The customer-specific prices, trade agreements, discounts, volume prices are not available in the maintenance mode. For more information about the maintenance mode, watch other video tutorial in our video gallery. That's it for this demo. Thank you for watching.